There are three main methods to connect mini split line sets together. You can use brazing, you can use flaring, or you can use manufactured connectors. Brazing would be the best method for contractors because, well, contractors braze a lot, so they get good at it. For DIYers like myself, brazing's probably the least effective method because as you can see right there, there's my brazing. <laughs> there's my brazing art <laughs> on a test piece and it's pretty sloppy. Unless you plan on doing a lot of brazing, it's not really worth bothering with this method. The other thing with brazing too is if you look down the pipe here, it's possible to get solder down the pipe and block your refrigerant. That leaves method number two, which is flaring. Now flaring is great if you have components straight from the factory because the flaring's already been done for you. Now this flared connection is ideally connected to the compressor. I wouldn't recommend using flared connections anywhere else, just to the compressor. In fact, this little demo that I'm showing you was a connection between a line set and an IDU or indoor unit, and it leaked all the time. More than once I had to vacuum out our system and repair this particular connection, and I'd rather not do that again if I can help it. So brazing and flaring both have their pros and cons, and that leaves connectors, which are probably the easiest method for DIYers, but they are the most expensive. Each one of these connectors runs about 20 bucks, but they're easy to use. So there you have it, mini split line set connections 101.